And I want to say, as I said before, that I will not put up with this lunatic fringe any longer. <laughs> and I quite like it. <laughs> Copycats, starring Bobby Davro, Aidan J. Harvey, Alan Stewart, Andrew O'Connor, Hilary O'Neill, Mike Osman, and Cheryl Taylor. Hello, welcome to Entertainment USA. <laughs> Yes, it's me, Jonathan King, bringing you all the latest news and gossip from America. <laughs> and if you remember last week... <laughs> if you remember last week, I asked you to give me the answer to last week's posing competition question, which was, what does the White House and McDonald's have in common? Well, of course, the answer to that is, they both have a clown called Ronald. <laughs> well, you left all the suckers! <laughs> the other day, I went for a drink in a bar. I saw this motorcycle outside, so for kicks, I covered it in purple paint. And ten minutes later, this little guy came in shouting and hollering. He said, who's the wise guy that covered my bike in purple paint? I said, it was me, sucker. You want to make something of it? He said, no, I just thought I'd tell you the first coat's dry. <laughs> Once, twice, three times a lady. And I love you I love you Amy <laughs> Rudolph, a viewer has written in wanting to know my dress sign. She writes, Dear Mrs. Sugden, my sister and I were having an argument about your dress size. Are you a size 8 or a size 10? <laughs> Both. I'm a size 18. <laughs> and now, our new blockbuster soap, Dead Enders, with the stars of EastEnders, Dynasty, Dallas, Emmerdale Farm, and Crossroads. <laughs> Dirty double crossing swine. <laughs> Angie. Blake Carrington. Angie. Blake. Cyril. Oh. <laughs> Darling. Darling. <laughs> oh, my darling. Oh, sweetheart, I and I've missed you. Oh, Blake. Do you believe in love at first sight? Of course. Every morning when I look in my shaving mirror. But I want it to be the same for you. But I don't shave. I want to take you away from all this. But I like all this. OK, we'll take all this with us. Oh, Angie, with a woman like you, I could scale the heights. With me, you'll have to scale the heights. I got bunk beds. <laughs> oh, blimey, it comes that drunk sewer. <laughs> Sailor, that bird of fancies is here again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello, Charlie. Uh, what's it going to be then? The usual? Yes. <laughs> but put it in smaller glasses. I'm cutting down. <laughs> <laughs> Funny dream last night. I, I, I dreamt I made mad, passionate love to you. Yeah. How was I? I? I don't know. I woke up when I got the interesting bit. <laughs> I looked down and I'd nibbled off both my Teddy's ears. <laughs> and his legs was doing a split. <laughs> How do, Angie? <laughs> 
Very unusual. Afraid not, Seth. I'm already spoken for tonight. <laughs> All right, then. I'll have a pint. You put it on slate till Friday. What, the pint? No, the usual. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Is that 999? No, it's 998, Harry. 998? <laughs> well, could you look next door and tell him my house is on fire? <laughs> oh, wog. Oh, oh wog. Oh. I'm a wog. Are you a wog? A wog? Oh. Hello, my name's Michael Berrymore. <laughs> And I'm a zany comedian. I, I'm a cross between uh, John Cleese, Max Bygraves, and Zola Budd. <laughs> Here, Rodney, how are you getting on with that little job I gave you to um, procure a pink budgie for an esteemed customer of my good self? Oh, not very well, Dale. I, I did what you said, though. I've got a red budgie, right? Yes, Rodders. And a white budgie. Yeah. I put them in the cage together. And what happened? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. I mean, didn't the little boy budgie? Then you go snuggling up to the little girl budgie. What little girl budgie? <laughs> oh, Rodney, you are a plonker sometimes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway, I've got a bit uh, of bad news about your budgie. Yeah? Yeah, apparently last night, Uncle Albert, he only went and put lighter fuel in your budgie's cage instead of drinking water. What happened? Well, he flew around the room six times and dropped to the floor. Dead? Nah, run out of petrol, Rodney. <laughs> the Right Honourable Margaret Thatcher. I'm one of the girls you'd think was a man. The life of the party who carries the can. I drink Lucas Aid cause it's good for the pace. I find Polyfella works well on the face. <laughs> the mother of the lady who's Maggie the Knight. I'd fall off the edge if I went for the right. Don't try to oppose me. I've made grown men weep, except Ronald Reagan, who's always asleep. <laughs> I'm one of the lords who's really a wench. With my rod of iron, I'll rule the front bench. My fighting inflation has won me the cup. I'm forcing it down, but not getting it up. <laughs> I'm staying in power as long as I can. I'd fight unemployment, but I don't know how. The greater the power, the longer the bow. If it wasn't for Lizzie, I'd be queen by now because I'm one of the bowls. She's one of the bowls. Oh, yes, I'm one of the bowls. She's one of the bowls. Well, a lot of people ask me just how fast I talk. Well, actually, I talk at twice the speed of sound, which is very dangerous for young ladies, because uh, when I say, will you, by the time they've held me and said no, I already have. <laughs> Dance with my baby no more. Hello, Walter. Hey, give me some skin and everything. <laughs> hey, you're looking depressed at all. What's the matter? Well, it's this series. It's one long round of loving and scrubbing. And what's wrong with that? I'm getting all the scrubbing. <laughs> hey, we're gonna scrub us. Look who's just come in. Alex Colby. Hello, Alex. Would you like to meet a little Willie? <laughs> Let me talk sharp if you don't mind. It's his birthday and she's celebrating. Bottoms up. She's just told you she doesn't want to talk sharp. <laughs> Play a tired, passionate honeymoon scene with uh, one of your stars. Which one is it? Let you be Oh my God! Hey, 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 do be taking your coat for you, eh, do be? Be careful with that. It costs fifty thousand pounds. Hey, hey, do be careful. I, I, I only put it on cool wash. <laughs> you idiot! You'll ruin it. Take it out. Oh, dear. Well, they could be dropping a goodie, they do be. All right, all right, I mean, what's, what's going on? You dirty den. You dirty den. Alexis Carrington Colby Dexter. 
Well, I've read a lot about you, my love. Most of it on the levity wall. Listen, what you want tonight? That'll depend on who I'm with. Man can go a long way with someone like you. Most of them go all the way. Listen, can you come back to my place, have a look at my etchings? You mean etchings? You haven't seen what I want in this scratch, do you? Leave the way. There'll be another cuckoo do be me. Even an accident. Get him out. Oh, come to Mummy Willie. Yeah. He's lost an arm. Don't be a stupid rascal. You're holding him upside down. <laughs> Going down the club? Certainly am. <laughs> hey, Stan, where are you going? Club's this way. Oh, I'm not going to the club, I'm going to the job club. Job club? What's that? Hey, it's a bunch of people walking together to find jobs. You get advice, free stamps, free telephone and all that. Two out of three in the job club end up with a job. No, it's not for me. See you later. Bye. Two out of three in the job club end up with a job. If you've been out of work for six months, the Job Club is just one of a new range of opportunities now on offer at your job centre. Now we can show you the new Sun Silk hairsprays. Sun Silk Hairsprays. Hold the look. Follow the spear and get flavor. Follow the spear and have fun. Follow the spear and get greatly spear. Follow the spear and get flavor. The taste that's number one. Follow the spear and get greatly spear. With Crown Plus Two, you can do anything you like. If you like it, crown it. So there's going to be a few of you out shearing this time, then. About 40, I'd reckon. Something for the ladies? Oh, yeah. Two bottles of sweet cherry, mate. Looks like we've overdone it with the sherry. Yeah. Australians wouldn't give a Castle Main 4X for anything else. Are you the famous Harley Street plastic surgeon? Uh, that's correct, yes. Come here. Do you think you could put a new handle on my bucket? <laughs> Me and the team, we went in this bar and we broke up this big brawl. I walked in and said, I'm Mr. T. Now you all listen to me. All you guys on this side of the room, you're all Nancy boys. And all you guys on this side of the room, you're all drunken bums. And anyone makes a move has to fight with me. And this guy got up and walked across. I said, oh, you want to fight? He said, no, I'm on the wrong side of the room. <laughs> Copycats presents those Hollywood greats, Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. Must you dance every dance with the same fortunate man? You have danced with him since the music began. <laughs> Won't you change partners and dance with me? Won't you 
change partners and then you may never want to change partners again you've got to be joking <laughs> Poor little Willie. <laughs> hey, the nose he were all right when he came out to the washing machine. Well, I was, sir. Uh, then Benny stuck him in the spin dryer. <laughs> <laughs> hey. By the way, uh -huh. what happened to you? Got out of bed on the wrong side, sir. <laughs> well, that's your dirt. <laughs> it does when you're in the top bunk. <laughs> Fortunately, somebody broke my fall. Hey, who was that then? <laughs> Like Carrington and me. <laughs> well, you know, the thing I hate most about drinking in bars, it's the walking home afterwards. <laughs> People keep treading on my fingers. <laughs> but, uh, I'm cutting down drinking, though. I only drink one measure a day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Fridays. What day is today? Sunday. Uh, oh. Uh, <laughs> guess that means I'll drink the bottom one first, huh? <laughs> <laughs> lofty. Oh, Lofty. Angie. Angie. <laughs> hey, she launched a ship last week. She was seven miles out before she let go of the bottle. <laughs> 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 anyway, look, why are you all tarted up? Hey, me and Miss Ellie are getting married today. <laughs> you didn't have to go and do that, did you? Nah, but she did. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Hello, Angie. Hello, sir. Well, how do I look? Hey. You look beautiful. Hey, except your, your stocking seams are all crooked. But I'm not wearing any stockings. <laughs> oh. In that case, your varicose veins won't see in two. But a lot of people accuse me of being outrageous, which just isn't true. <laughs> I just believe in talking straight, which isn't easy when you've got a crooked mouth. <laughs> Smashing. Nice to have you with us. Wonderful. I'm doing a survey. I wonder if you can help me. I'm trying to find out whether I'm the most boring game show host on television. You don't look like Paul Daniels. <laughs> no, no. I'm not Paul Daniels. I'm Jim Bowen. Who? Bullseye. No, actually, it's a cough sweat. <laughs> Only if you can answer a couple of questions. What's your name? Lorraine Chase. Occupation? A sort of female, half a mollard. Sex? Oh, all right, then. But you'll have to be quick. <laughs> oh, sorry, you went. OK, uh, here's a good impression. <laughs> That's Barry Sheen jogging. <laughs> Here, Miss Ellie, I was wondering, when you get married to Seth, who's going to be your maid of honour? Well, Crystal Carrington's coming over specially. <laughs> I've just flown in from Denver. Hi, we can tell you're still wearing your wings. <laughs> I had a terrible experience at the customs. 
A gang of officers took me away and gave me a strip search. To a breast? No, for a shoulder. <laughs> Blake, what happened to you? You'll never believe this, Crystal, but last night two people fell on me from a top bunk. <laughs> well, that was 12 hours ago. Where have you been since? Alexis has been giving me the kiss of life. <laughs> but how can Alexis make the kiss of life last 12 hours? She starts at your left ankle and goes the long way round. <laughs> hey, it's lucky it's only a leg you got in splint. <laughs> so, Blake, you've been unfaithful to me. You can speak, Crystal. Last night in the top pocket of your niggly nightdress, <laughs> I found this hat. Oh, no. And in the other pocket, I found this hat. No! That's Benny's. And in the top pocket, I found this wig. Oh! That's Bruce for Seth. Lovely, lovely, lovely. That's it. Thank you, this is fine. Ladies and gentlemen, nice to see you, to see you. with my mouth shut since we've been married. She'll be going. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Basil, my husband, and I decided to go away for a few days' break last year. We drove up to Scotland and we made the fatal mistake of taking Manuel with us. He moaned all the way there. He was still moaning when we took him off the roof, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Vanishing biscuit. Where on earth does it go? I take the biscuit, put it in the left hand, take some magic powder, sprinkle it over the top, <laughs> and the biscuit completely vanishes. Now that's single? Uh, you're married. Oh, uh, I've been married 26 years. I hate housework. It is boring and it is stupid. You do the dishes, you make the bed. Six months later, you got to start all over again. Oh, <laughs> Hello, fans and fannies. <laughs> Doddy here. Yes, hot from Hollywood. I've just been playing a scene, a love scene, with Joan Collins in Dynasty. I must say, how tickled I was by her. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen her passport photo? She's lying down. <laughs> Rather 
rather neatly, I thought, back to the world of films. Now, my favourite film for my money is the full-length feature cartoon from Libya entitled The Adventures of Gaddafi Duck. <laughs> this, of course, is not to be confused with the new remake of the soft porn version of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, in which Snow White... <laughs> in which Snow White goes to bed feeling grumpy and ends up feeling happy. And why not? <laughs> Copycats return to Yorkshire Television next Saturday, same time, 7.15.